Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a singles reading for the water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. This is for singles, okay? This is for the week of December 30th to January 6th. Keep in mind that this is being recorded on December 20th. December 30th hasn't happened yet. Neither has January 1st or any of those dates. And I have to reiterate that so that y'all know that this is, this is an upcoming message. It may resonate now. It may not resonate until then. I urge you to watch it at that time. December 30th to January 6th. Although it certainly could resonate at this time. This is for Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Sun Signs. Any of the single readings that I do, they are not for Moon, Rising, Venus, no. You can't just go to any reading and, and pick out which one you want. This is not the channel for that. For, for the other readings, yes, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For the monthlies, for the weeklies. But for these elements, you know, Earth, Fire, Water, and Air, no. This is for water signs as their prominent, dominant sign. Just my singles elements will be like that. We're going to get one of these, and then we're going to break into that deck. All the other ones will be for sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Not these, because there's too many. There's too many to choose from. That just causes confusion. You just don't even know which ones. And then you get to pick which one you like the best. No. Mm -mm. Not for these elements, no. Not for my readings. I am intending these to be for your sun sign. Singles. Just the singles readings. Envy. Envy. There's some jealousy here. You could be jealous. Maybe you want something somebody else has. You, and usually when people are jealous, they don't admit it. Not usually. It's usually when people are envious, they hide it. Right? They don't show it. Somebody could be jealous of you. Could go either way. There's definitely some envy here. And not only is there envy... Not only is there jealousy, there's some hostilities as well. Now, if there's jealousy and there's hostilities, it's probably not a good time for, for singles to uh, get into a relationship by the looks of things. If you're still hostile about the past... Or if you are dealing with somebody who's still hostile towards you, you really can't bring that into a new relationship now, can you? Now, this is my second reading. My second reading for you guys. I did one along with the other ones this morning. It looks like we're heading down the same road. I didn't, I didn't uh, let it go because of this kind of stuff. We're going to see what we can get. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Singles. What, are they, what can they expect? What can they expect? It's funny that I told you that story. I didn't tell any of the other signs that story about you can't just go pick anyone you want. you got to choose the one that's meant for you. You've got to choose the one that's meant for you. You know what I'm saying?
You got to choose the right one. Don't try to pretend you're somebody that you're not. Interesting. You do have a new opportunity coming up. A new exciting opportunity. Which could lead to happiness. You might meet this person at some sort of event. But there's some sort of delay. There's some sort of... Uh, oh, blockage here. Something is blocking your change. Your destiny. Now, there's you needing to see something differently. You need to realize something. And you may be beginning to realize that you have another opportunity. But you got to make sure you choose that right one, right? Now we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is a very confident, courageous, steadfast, uh, strong individual. Not sure if this is the person that's coming into your life, but you do have another opportunity. Okay? You do have an opportunity. Could be with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And this is a passionate opportunity. A new beginning. A really wonderful new beginning. That could lead to marriage even. But there's a hindrance here. There is. Free will plays a part. It's a card of free will and destiny. There is a delay. There's something that you're not doing right. Okay? You're, you may be still focusing on the wrong one. And that's what the last reading said too. Focusing on the wrong one. Interesting. I didn't want to. I didn't want to share it because I know a lot of you guys don't want to hear that. You don't want to hear it, and and that's the truth. You can sit there and be jealous and be upset of what else somebody else has, but if you don't, you know, do anything about it. If you're making the choice to, to be with the wrong one, then hey, not putting in effort for a, a new passionate beginning. Somebody isn't doing what they need to do. And that is the damn truth. Think it, you know, you need to walk away from something. But you're not. Oh my God. You need to master your emotions and head in a new direction. I just should download the other friggin' reading. Son of a bitch. Oh God. I should have. Oh wow. We're just going to keep going and do this one. You know, you have a new opportunity with somebody, a perfect match, a perfect match. Perfect, perfect match. But I think there's hostilities in the way. Somebody is wanting this perfect match. And you know who this person is, right? You do. You know who this person is. And now, you know, you may have lost the opportunity. You may have. You may have lost the opportunity. I was looking at that up here, too. Somebody has lost a golden opportunity. Because they didn't put in effort. They didn't go back or something like that. Or you keep thinking about going back. Do you keep thinking about going back to the past? Because that could be a hindrance as well. It may be you're waiting for somebody to come back. If you, you need to put yourself in a new direction, you have, to take, you have to take action. You need to find the mental strength to move forward. And son of a bitch, this same fucking reading, excuse my language. You have to find the, the strength and the courage, again, to move, change your destination, change your future. Is somebody coming in? You do have an opportunity for a passionate new beginning here. Absolutely, yes, you do. Positively, no doubt. But you have to take action, and I'm talking about you, water signs. You have to put yourself in that driver's seat. You have to face opposition. You have to find the mental strength to stop going backwards and move forwards because you're going backwards by not finding that mental strength. So you guys are, are hindering your own success. In love, you have a perfect opportunity here for love. This person is being brought to you from above. A soulmate connection. But you just have to see it. It's like you're not seeing it. Can you see it? Can you see it? You have a better option. You have a better option. You have a better option. Did you hear me? You have a better option. 
but somebody is focusing on the wrong one. Oh, God. Stubborn. Stubborn as hell. Yeah, there's your bet. I know you have a suitor that's better. You have a better suitor, somebody that is really, really well suited for you. An exciting new opportunity. You may receive some sort of invitation to some sort of event or gathering. Go. Sparks could fly instantly. If you get invited to anything, go. But Because you, you have to put in effort. If you sit home and you say you got to work, you know, I got to work, I can't go. Or I'm too tired, I got to work tomorrow, I can't go. Well, then you're throwing away the opportunity. If you get invited to go to something, go. Now, this is uh, delay. No forward movement at all. You may not be being practical. Somebody's not being practical. It could be dealing with the earth sign as well. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody's not being practical. And again, that opportunity is slipping. There's a golden opportunity that's slipping away. Ooh. You could be dealing with a Taurus. Ooh. Ah. Uh. This is, uh, or this could be, if you are a female, if you are a female watching this, this could be you taking on this energy. This is very beautiful, very uh, kind, caring, compassionate, uh, unconditional love. If you are the male, the water sign male, this is the woman that you are going to run into. You're going to run into this beautiful, compassionate woman who's beautiful on the inside and the outside. She's glowing. She's the one. If you are the water sign female, this is this is you calling in your soulmate. Because when you get in, in this empress, if this is the is this empress, whether she is the person that you have been calling in, or if you are the male. You are the male. This is who you've been calling. This woman is the soulmate. She is the pick of the litter. She is, she's ready. She, she knows her worth. She's glowing. She's glowing. So have, if you have, re if you are the female, you have reached this point where you are glowing. Believe me, you have multiple options. If you are the male watching this, this is the woman that you are going to run into. And she is extremely everything that you want. But you got, you're focused on the wrong one. Damn it. I knew that was the case too. And it was the same one, same as before. You're focused on the wrong one. Could be, you could, and I'm just saying, you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries Leo Sagittarius that's bringing you down, that's holding you back. You could be. It looks like you've lost your confidence. You've lost your willpower. Maybe this is like the other woman. There could be a person that is holding you back from success. Maybe you don't even have confidence in yourself if you don't have confidence or if you have a self-image problem or if you don't have the courage to put yourself out there. If you don't, you know, if you don't have the strength, if you don't have the ambition, then hey, then there's a delay. Then you don't get that opportunity. You have an exciting new opportunity, a new exciting offer coming in. You're going to be receiving a message, an exciting message. But... I'm not sure you're going to take it because of your own fears. There's definitely some fears here. Whoever this partner is, it is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful match. Perfect match. But this is a card of consequences and it's a card of choice, the lover's card is. It's a card of choice. You have to choose. Choose wisely or live with the consequences. You have a choice between two people, especially if you are the male uh, water sign. Two women. You have a choice between two women. If you, are the, if you are the water sign male, you definitely have a choice between two women. If you are the water sign female, you have multiple options. There's definitely two women here. One of them is a Debbie Downer. One of them is a beautiful soul. Just saying. Um, but somebody here has to find their courage. Ooh, 
to step outside of their head. Somebody is fearing commitment. This is the master of non-attachment, right? It is. Somebody is afraid of attachment here. Afraid of commitment. Sacrificing time. Wasting time. Waste, absolutely wasting time because like I said, the opportunity is slipping away. And if you... I mean, this, this person right here has multiple options. If you are wasting your time, well, tough shit for you. Anyhow, um, whoever this person is, whether it's the person watching this, the female, sorry for being so blunt about that. This, this is a female. The female watching this reading, whether it's the cross watcher or the water sign female, she has multiple 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 options and she's going to receive a new opportunity it's exciting there's going to be a lot of passion in it and it's and it's a it's a perfect match whoever the male is the male is dealing with somebody who is holding them back from this perfect match choose the love over the looks even, this one's beautiful too, but this one's beautiful on the inside. I'm not saying that, I'm just saying, I'm not saying that she's not beautiful on the inside because she is, but I'm just telling you the meanings of the cards. We have this person who, in the reversed, is kind of like no ambition, no drive, no desire. Poor, poor, pitiful me. In that mentality, and this one is unstable, insecure, you know, there's a, somebody is stubbornly holding on to something that they shouldn't be holding on to. And that could even be a mentality, stubbornness. Maybe you feel like you're not good enough. Maybe you feel like you can't put yourself out there because you don't look good enough. Bullshit. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. Trust me, you are. This could just be you thinking you're not good. You are good enough. Trust me, you are. Especially if you're the female. I'm not saying that you males aren't, but I'm not, and the females know that you are beautiful. Don't let your thoughts mess with you because you have multiple, multiple, multiple options. Um, anyway, yes, there is going to be an unexpected choice in love, and it's probably between two people, male or female. But you're gonna have to you're gonna have to step down from your thinking mode and actually take action. Action is needed. You're the driver. You're the driver. You better realize it. Somebody needs to realize that this opportunity is going to slip away if they don't take action. So anyway, I feel as though. We do have a new passionate beginning here. Exciting. This person is very, very, very well suited for you. It's a beautiful, perfect match in which, you know, you could, it could lead to marriage. A lot of happiness. But you have to put in effort. Don't let your thoughts of you not being good enough get in the way. Because you are good enough. The only thing we have here that I see that is a problem is fear of commitment. This is fear, master of non-attachment. Fear of commitment. If you don't look at things from a new perspective, if you don't stop, stop being in suspension, somebody else is going to take this opportunity. Trust me, they are. Something slipping away. There is something absolutely that is slipping away. There's no doubt. With these two cards in reverse, these are golden opportunities. You can't fight gravity. Eventually, it is going to slip away. It's going to slip right through the fingers. Action is needed. So yeah, it feels as though you guys have an opportunity for a passionate new beginning here, but you have to put yourself in that driver's seat. You have to take action. You you, 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 you need to take action. And you need to let go of something that you're hanging on to mentally, emotionally. You may be wanting somebody to come back. 
Or you may be wanting to go back. I see that. Delaying it. And you may be delaying it because of hostilities, but you'd want it, right? Somebody wants it. Mm. Communication. Repression. Going through some sort of repression. Not listening. Loss of self. It's like things aren't really moving forward because some of you don't even know what you're worth. Some bitch. You have an opportunity here. Maybe there's, maybe, I think there's, I hate to say this, I'm not, I mean, I feel like there's somebody from the past that needs an apology. Or they're going to come offer you an apology. Or you're going to offer them an apology. This could be a brand new beginning as well. This is somebody who is very... Honorable. Making a, a stable, solid offer. You are definitely going to receive a message or give a solid offer to somebody. But it starts with being generous. This is a big offer, too. It's a big pentacle. You could be dealing... Uh, you know, we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn all over in this reading. We also have Cancer, for Pisces, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. So mostly fire and earth. Some water. <coughs> It looks to me as though you guys are going to be presented with some sort of opportunity, invitation, or offer that could lead to something solid, long-term, committed, passionate. But it starts with you mastering your emotions and you taking the lead and you getting in that driver's seat. Don't let your, your you know, if you want it, you got to get it. Because if you don't get it, somebody else is going to. There's a lot of stubbornness here. I see the stubbornness. A lot of stubbornness. Really. That don't get you nowhere. You know what that when you know where that gets you? Hostile and alone. So yeah, so there is a new passionate beginning here. Could be with a fire sign, could be with an earth sign. But there's somebody that's holding you back because I think that, there, that, that there's hostilities over this past. And you're still holding on to them. Let them go. If you get invited to go somewhere, go. That's what I have. 